goals and goal setting and resolutions, whether you're at the beginning of the year, the end of the year, the middle of the year, uh, you can do these with your students. So years ago, I heard about this legendary Harvard study. This is where this, this activity first got um, brewing in my brain. Uh, and in this Harvard study, they wanted to see if writing down your goals made any difference in whether you were successful. And so when I heard about that, and I, I, I thought it was pretty awesome, especially there was a statistic that they shared that uh, the 3% who had clear written goals were earning on average 10 times as much as the other 97% what? put together. And that, that blew me away. And I in my life had, had done written goals and every time I'd done written goals, I felt more successful and so that resonated true with me. Um, I've since looked it up more to try to find it and I can't find it anywhere. And then I, I found rumors that maybe it was a Yale study or some other thing. Turns out it's a legend and it didn't really ever happen. But that doesn't mean that the, the truth in it isn't still true. And so um, we've got an activity for you um, that a couple of years ago I started doing with my students. Um, I would do it at the beginning of the school year and I would have my students set some goals. Um, or I would do it also again returning from New Year's and have them set some goals. So wherever you're at in the school year, you can do this. It's a real quick activity, maybe it takes a half an hour for your students to um, learn the, the content and then to actually set the goals. And then the cool part is um, you get to come back and review it. So. Uh, so yeah, we start off talking about what makes a quality real goal. It must be specific, measurable, and time sensitive. Otherwise, let's face it, our human nature takes over and it's just, just some wishy-washy dream out there that we don't really do. Um, so it needs to be those three. It needs to be specific, measurable, and time sensitive. So let's look at some of the differences between a weak goal and a strong goal. So an example of a weak goal would be I want to get fit this year. An example of a strong goal in different from that would be I want to lose five pounds each month in the year of whatever year or each month. Uh, another weak goal would be I want to exercise this year and a strong goal would be something like I want to run 500 miles this year. Um, another example would be I want to read about marriage with my spouse and a, and a stronger goal would be I want to read two books this year with my spouse. So well, you see the difference, right? And if you, if you don't yet, just know that it's a powerful difference because each of them is specific. It says exactly what we're going to do. It's measurable. You can count it. If you can't count it, you don't know if you did it. That's mm -hmm. key. It's super key. And if you don't have a time sensitive date on it, you don't know if you completed it. Mm -hmm. Right, just saying, I want to lose weight. Like, by when? How much weight? Like, I lost 0. 0.3 ounces. Is that good enough? You know, um, so you really need so that you know you did it because that's the key with goals is that you can you accomplish it and then you can set a new one and then you can accomplish that and you feel like the ball is rolling. It's really cool. Um, and also, the thing I love about specific goals is that um, with each of those, then I like take the 500 miles, right? This was actually my goal. Um, two years ago, uh, I wanted to run 500 miles in the year. And the cool part about it, it our light turned out. Uh, <laughs> cool part gone. about it is that when I see 500 miles, I immediately start thinking, how am I gonna do that during the year? There's 12 months, 500 miles is huge. That's so, that's like mm -hmm. long way. How am I gonna do that in a year? Well, I divide it by 12 and that ends up uh, 41 miles a month. Well, that's not so bad, there's 30 days in a month. And so it ends up 1.37 miles a day. Can I run 1.37 miles? But at that time, I was running like three or four. So 1.37 didn't seem like that big of a deal. If I break it down differently, maybe it's nine and a half miles a week or uh, 20 miles every two weeks. And so then that would mean if I ran four miles, that's just five running times in two weeks. Uh, break it up however you want to. The cool part about specificity is that you can chop it down into measurable chunks and know that you're on track or ahead of track or behind track, whatever it is. You just <laughs> gotta be able to count it and you can count it if it's measurable and time sensitive. So uh, back to my students. I then, I then pass out one of these handouts here. It's got nine categories on it. What are those? The categories are family, school, work, health, spiritual, play, 
friends giving an attitude. So give an example of an attitude goal. An attitude goal. <laughs> yeah, what, what it would have to be is specific, measurable, and time sensitive. So for them, they'd have to think about what their attitude is that they want to change, that they want to set a goal on, and then they have to be specific. You're calling me to do one right I am. now. It's a tricky um, one. <laughs> it, it takes time. you got to give your students some time to do it, and then we're not going to do it right now on this one. Um, so about once a month or so after they've completed it, have them revisit their goals and see if anybody's completed any. Mm -hmm. right maybe the first time nobody has or they accidentally did <laughs> um, but the ones who did have them share them if they want to and then and then you can cheer for them and they will feel mm -hmm. great the other students will feel like they could have done that because they know they could have they made the goals and they could have done them they just didn't and so um, and then you'll feel really cool too because there's nothing like seeing the look on a student's face when they accomplish a goal that they set especially if it wasn't accidental if it's accidental, the, there's the light again. Hey. If it's accidental, they'll feel a little foolish, but also really cool. Um, but if it's on purpose, there's nothing like it. They feel like gold, mm -hmm. right? And if they didn't finish it, there's no guilt, mm -hmm. just motivation. There's no mistakes here. It's progress, right? Even not doing anything, the fact that they have the list back out and they're looking at it, their brain is thinking, man, I could do that. And that's progress. Mm -hmm. Goals aren't about the failure. They're about the trajectory. And this is which way we want to go. They're about the desire. They're about the future, right? We're not looking back here. We're looking forward at what we haven't done and what we said we want to do. These are like the goals of our heart. Mm -hmm. So we've created this fun activity organizer for you to use in your classrooms. Enjoy it. It's free. Check it out and check out any other resources so that we can save you time and get your students thinking because that's what we love doing is getting students thinking. So keep on being awesome and go download that in our store and check out our other YouTube videos. Enjoy.